Hey everybody, welcome back to the shed here in Virginia. Today I'm going to cover a few tips and tricks, two main ones, on how I incorporate uh, rust into other finishes on a skull. Uh, big example being the John Deere skull here where I have a painted skull that is rusted. So I'm going to share the secrets on how I do that as well as incorporating rust into other metal finishes which, which is a really cool option. So let's go. Some of you may already know you can cover an entire skull with a rust finish um, if you have not seen the how-to video I did on that I will leave a link in the description of this video awesome finish for a skull uh, but what I'm going to cover in this video is adding the rust finish to specific areas of a skull to make it look old and rusted out and combining the rust finish with a metal finish the supplies you're going to need to do the rust accents on a skull is going to be a cheap paintbrush, iron powder, that is what is going to be oxidizing to create that rust, and this is a one pound bag that's lasted me a long time, so that should be good enough for anyone out there. You're going to need a clear coat. Uh, don't get hung up on what kind of clear coat you have. Anything will work. I just happen to have a spray can of clear coat here. You can do any type of lacquer, it's perfectly fine. And then lastly, you're going to need an activator uh, for the iron powder to make it rust. Now, you can either make your own uh, activator using water, vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, and salt, mixing those together and putting it into a spray can like this. Or, like I do, I actually use uh, some of the patinas that come with the metal paints that I buy. Any of the companies that sell the metal paints are going to be selling patinas with them as well. And the patinas, even though it might say it's a Tiffany green or a blue, worked as an activator for the iron powder. So that's what I use all the time, works perfectly fine. Uh, they do specifically sell rust activators as well. So you can certainly uh, purchase that if you would like. The great thing about this method is that you can put this rust finish over top of any finish that will be on your skull. Uh, in the case of the John Deere skull, uh, fresh paint looked like a brand new tractor and I put that rust finish on there on top of that painted skull and made it look old and rusted. Uh, I have here a skull which I actually used for a previous video that already has a metal finish on it. It's all dry and done and I'm just going to add in the clear coat to the areas that I want the rust to be and then we will pour in our iron dust and that's just going to stick on top of that metal coat. And that's kind of the, the crux to this whole method is just having a clear coat for that iron dust to stick to. <laughs> So just any place that you want that clear, that rust to come through, put in your clear coat. And you're going to want to add the iron powder fairly quickly before that clear coat starts to dry because then it won't stick where you want it to go. Just lightly dust it in there so you get a little coat of that iron powder. If any of that iron dust sticks to areas that you don't want, you can just wipe it off with a rag. Now that the iron dust is in all the places that we want it to be, 
All you gotta do is just spray it with your activator and be generous while you're spraying. Um, when it runs down the skull, that kind of emulates how uh, rust trails, whatever you call that, form anyhow. So that actually creates a very natural effect. So we're just gonna spray it with our activator. After you spray on the activator, you should start seeing uh, that rust or that iron powder start to rust almost immediately. And I'm just gonna wipe off a little bit of an excess activator on here. And then all you have to do is just leave it, let it dry, let it do its thing, and we'll come back to it. really well is adding rust accents to a metal finish so here I have it's a horseshoe crab so not a skull but you get the idea um, with a copper metal finish on it um, I used modern masters metal finish and what you will do is just in strategic places around uh, your skull you would add just a little bit of the iron powder while the paint is still wet. So that is the key to this. Uh, you, so you paint on your metal paint and then add a little bit of the iron powder just around. Don't overdo it. We're not trying to cover the entire thing with rust, uh, just little places. Okay, so our paint is still wet. I've put the iron powder on there where I want it. And now just take your activator and this is a, a blue patina for the copper paint. But again, this will work to activate uh, the iron rust, the iron powder to rust. So we're just going to put light uh, spray of the patina on the horseshoe crab. at this point is just let it be both the copper paint and the iron powder will do its thing uh, and oxidize and act, uh, activate to the patina and uh, should have a good result. And there you have it folks, that is how you add a rust finish accent to any surface. Now after that is done, uh, regardless of whatever you're putting the rust over top of, you do have the option to add a clear coat. I would recommend a spray a clear coat on top of that, kind of just depending on what you, what you want the final look to be. I've found that sometimes it does help to kind of tie uh, the rust together with uh, the other finish on the skull. Not always the case with these that I use for this video. There is no clear coat whatsoever. And so it's just kind of preference. It's up to you whether or not you want to add a clear coat onto the finished skull. Now all of the products that I use today, I will leave a link in the description of this video to where I buy them so that if you want to give this a try, you can. Please do also consider subscribing to my channel here. Thanks for joining me here in my carving shed and I'll see you in the next video.